Hello and uh, welcome, this is Simon. I'm going to give you a, a demonstration on using Reaper with Jamulus and being able to uh, route your sound card, your various inputs. Some people want to be able to route more than two inputs into Jamulus. Some people want to be able to play some backing tracks into Jamulus as well and you can do all this using Reaper. You need to have a relatively modern computer and a relatively fast computer to be able to run both Reaper and also Jamulus. Reaper is um, a, a digital audio workstation bit of software. We're not using it for that um, because it also has a very powerful virtual audio routing system built in which is very useful for Jamulus. So I'm going to show you how to install and you'll see you've got uh, a few options here. We're going to be using Windows 64-bit. Uh, download that and then once that's finished downloading, install. The, this is the most important thing. When you get to this window here, if you open that optional functionality tree, you will see reroute ACO driver. Uh, by default, that's not ticked. It is ticked for me because I've already installed Reaper, but you will need to tick that because that's the important bit that we need for routing audio into Jamulus. So once you've ticked that, hit install, that will install Reaper. This is Jamulus, as you know, this is the latest version of Jamulus, so it's all looking quite nice. I've got Reaper already installed, so I'm just gonna run Reaper. Uh, there's a little window that pops up because you, you'll be probably using the evaluation license. I use it every single day, so I felt it was worth purchasing to support the developers. But you can use it evaluation mode and you'll get a little pop-up that stays there for five seconds or so. What you need to do is you need to create a couple of tracks. Find this blank space on the left-hand side, right mouse click, hit new track and do it again. So we want two tracks to be created. If you want to play some audio tracks like some mp3 files, uh, you'll need another track for that as well. So I will add that down there. In fact, actually you need four tracks if you're going to have uh, multiple things being sent to Jamulus. We want to name some of these tracks. So this is the top track is going to be to Jamulus. So yeah, that's to Jamulus. And then at the very bottom, this is from Jamulus. So just to explain a little bit what we're going to do, we are going to connect our microphone, which is my microphone here, into this track, this channel here. This channel is going to send the microphone to the track channel above. I'm going to make this a, a, a child of the track above. And then this track is going to send the sound to Jamulus. People will be able to hear my microphone. And then any audio that comes back from Jamulus will be then routed into this track at the bottom here, which will say from Jamulus. So you, this is probably the view that you will have when you open Reaper for the first time. I don't like having the mixer down here. It's annoying. Uh, you don't need it well, for what the purposes of what we're about to do. So you can literally just go to the view menu and untick the mixer so that you don't see that mixer at the bottom. Uh, you can do what we need to do from these tracks here on the left hand side. We want to embed these two tr uh, tracks, which this one's going to be our microphone, so I'm going to call it microphone, and this one's going to be our play tracks. We want to embed both of these as children under this top track. To do that, if you just hover on track one, you'll see a little plus button. If you hit that, it'll it'll move all of these and nest them underneath the top track. If you hit it again, it'll switch it back. So uh, we're going to do that. Uh, but you'll notice the bottom one has already been uh, has also been embedded. We don't want that nested at all. So if you hover on the track three and click the plus button at the bottom there and it'll embed it once and if you click it again it'll move it out completely. So now we have just the microphone and the play track nested underneath the top channel. We want to configure our microphone to come into Reaper. So um, firstly to do that we need to make sure that our sound card is set up correctly. Now if you go to the options and at the bottom preferences and then you scroll on the left hand side to where it says under audio and device this is where you choose your device that you want to send to Reaper. Now I'm using a PreSonus audio uh, interface and so it automatically defaulted to that one. You may find that you've got a couple, it might have defaulted to direct sound, something like that initially when you first loaded this up. That's maybe what you want. Uh, I suspect you want ACO, however. If you've been using Jamulus, you will have got an ACO driver of some description. You might be using ACO for all, or you might be using your sound cards uh, ACO driver. Either way, it needs to be on ACO and then on the ACO driver you select the driver that's relevant for your interface.
Um, and then you can choose how many inputs you want to root into into Reaper. So I'm saying that I want my first um, in, in input to be the first one available. And I have eight uh, inputs on my interface, so I've chosen eight. You could choose to just be two if you wanted, or even just one. Uh, I choose eight because I like to be able to root all eight of my inputs into Jamulus all at once. Um, and then below that, you've got the very important things such as requesting sample rate and requesting block size. I, I set that and I force it to 48,000 hertz, which is what we need for Jamulus. And I set the block size to 128, which in most circumstances is the buffer sample size that you need. Anything lower than that and you may struggle especially if you're using any plugins with Reaper. So that's it, press OK. Now when I hit uh, on the microphone button, I hit the uh, record arm button. This will automatically route my first input in, uh, but I can choose to select which one I want from the available drop down here. I want it mono because this is my microphone. I don't want stereo in. I want mono in. I just want to choose my microphone, which I know is on input number one. So you can see already I have levels appearing here to show that my microphone is now armed and I'm getting some sound coming into this channel and it's sending it to the parent channel above, which is good. Now what we want to do is we want to send this parent channel to Jamulus. To do that, we have to click the root button. If you have your mixer, uh, still showing down below here, here, you won't see the root button there, you will see it down here, which is why I've turned it off. I don't like the mixer because I can't click the root button quickly. If you take off the mixer, then you can see the root button. So we want to click the root button there, and this gives you this dialogue. We need to uncheck the tick box that says master send. We do not want to send this audio to our speakers, which is basically what that means, or our headphones. Um, I don't want to send it to my speakers or my headphones, so I untick it. Now you won't be able to hear your voice. I can't hear my voice anymore. But now what we want to do is we want to route the audio to Jamulus, and we're going to do it using the audio hardware outputs drop down at the bottom. If we drop it down, you will see that we've got these reroute channels available to us. So I'm going to choose reroute 1 and reroute 2 because I want to send a stereo signal to the virtual audio driver reroute 1 and 2. So I do that. So that's now uh, got reroute 1 and 2 listed below there. We can do some tweaking if you want to, things like panning and stuff, but I never bother touching that at all. And I can close that down. Now we need to go and configure Jamulus. You've got Jamulus open. Don't connect to a room just yet. What you need to do is hit settings. And your, by default, you probably find that your device under the settings would have been set to your ACO driver. So you need to change it from ACO driver to the reroute ACO driver. That's the reroute ACO that you installed as part of Reaper. And by default, it will choose tracks one and two as an input and tracks one and two for an output. And then that's all, that's all you need to do. Leave it at that. I'm gonna to connect to an empty room. Let's go for waiting room two. And you will see that as I'm talking, I have now got some input going into Jamulus from Reaper. But uh, I cannot hear my voice, even if I put this fader right at the top. And the reason I, haven't, I can't hear it is because I've not configured in Reaper how I'm gonna hear it. So you'll see this from Jamulus track that we created at the bottom. What I want to do is I want to arm the track. Now, immediately it will try and uh, pull in my microphone again, which is not what I want to do. So I'm going to choose this little button here to drop, out, drop it down. I'm going to choose stereo because I want a stereo input coming from Jamulus. And I'm going to choose reroute one and two. Now I can hear my voice coming from Jamulus. So I've got sound going into Jamulus from here and the sounds coming from Jamulus back into this channel here, and this channel is sending it to the master send, which is my headphones and my speakers, my headphones in this particular case. Okay, so that's the routing for my microphone, and there are some funky things we can do in Reaper, such as adding some effects onto our voice uh, using this FX button here, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. But I want to show you how to play a track. That's very easy. If you open up your Explorer and find where your music is, and I'm going to drag a song that I wrote many years ago, and I'm literally going to pick it up and drag it and drop it onto the play tracks channel below and let go and now we have my audio in 
And if you drag this little scroll bar to the right, you can see the whole track eventually. So that's the whole track long. It's three and a half minutes long. Now, if I hit the play button, it's a bit loud. So I'm going to turn that volume down of that track so I can, I've got this little volume bar here. So I'm going to move that down by minus 10 dB. It was a bit loud. You can see it was clipping and it would be sending a rather large, large signal into Jamulus and people wouldn't like that. So I'm going to play it again. So you can see I've got full control. There we go. That is a track that is playing into Jamulus and people who are on my Jamulus server right now would be able to hear that track very, very clearly. That's really it. I don't really want to show you any more than that because this is basic um, use of using Reaper. Some of the other things you might want to do is if you've got a piano or other inputs on your interface, you want to route your input, your piano in, uh, you can do that literally by just clicking a track, hitting new track, uh, and then choosing your piano from the drop down. Now my piano is on five and six, so I could just give that a name of piano. Um, if I had a guitar which I plugged in, I could add that in as well. So that will send all of my piano, my mic and my backing tracks into one Jamulus client. However, let's say you wanted to have your microphone on one channel for people to mix in Jamulus and you wanted your piano on another track in Jamulus, you can do that by just running two instances of Jamulus. And all you need to do is create another parent track like this. Uh, so I'm going to do that down here and move it all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to call it to Jamulus 2 and I'm going to move my piano down below underneath that to Jamulus 2 and then what I want to do is I click the root button, untick the master send and then I add the hardware, out, hardware output. This time I'm going to send it to reroute 3 and 4 and now if I launch Jamulus again I've got two Jamulus clients now open. Um, and you can see I've got one here and I've got one here now. I want to change the settings of this second one to be reroute three and reroute four on the left and right channel. And I don't want the output to go to Reaper one and two. So I'm gonna go to Reaper three and four. I actually don't want double output going back. Now if I connect to the same room that I'm on already, which is waiting room two, you'll see I have two channels here. My microphone is coming into this one, and if I play my piano, it's going into this one. So I now have two Jamulus instances. Now, if you wanted to save all these settings, because you'd have to do this every time you launch both instances of Jamulus, and it can get a bit confusing what you had it saved on, uh, you can create icons for each instance of Jamulus. So if you wanted to create two icons, one for Jamulus and then one for Jamulus instruments, let's say, and then right mouse click on your icon for instruments and hit uh, properties. There we go. You will see that you can amend the target and we can add in a couple of more parameters to the arguments of Jamulus in the target text field. So I add a space and if I type dash dash any file and then in quotes uh, I need to go and find where my Jamulus INI file is kept, uh, which I can tell you is, let me open Explorer, um, is all is under C Windows, uh, sorry, users, Simon, or your whatever user you've got on your, on your computer, and then under app data, which you may need to um, unhide using hidden items here, under app data, roaming, and then Jamulus, you'll see I have an INI file there. If you copy that and paste it, and then call it something like instruments like that and then what I want to do is copy the path if I click in the address bar and copy I can then go back to here and paste the path in and then put slash Jamulus make sure you spell it exactly as you've named it instruments.ini and press OK now what happens when you launch Jamulus Instruments, it will be using a different INI file to save its settings than the one that you're using here. So I have to make those changes again to three and four. And also to distinguish the two, I'm gonna change my profile name slightly. 
So I'm going to call it Simon T Instrument or Inst, and I'm going to put piano so that when I connect, you'll see that I have a microphone, which is my one in here, and I have my instrument here. And it's all working good. If I close it down, reopen it up, A, it's kept the position of the window, so I know it's saving to that new INI file. When I hit connect, uh, there it is with the correct profile name, different from the one I created here. So it saved the setting. So I now have two Jamilus instances uh, configured with different uh, instruments, which can be useful for people if they want to be able to mix your mic microphone differently from your keyboard. So that's it. I hope that's been useful. If, uh, if I get some time, I will probably will do another video showing you a bit more advanced uh, things you can do with Reaper, such as um, adding in some plugins for effects on your voice, things like that. But this is basically how you use Reaper with Jamulus in a very, very simple way. I hope it's been useful and uh, catch you online.